Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay. <laughs> Let's get right. Let's get right. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He I got a front. Hold up. Hold up. Nah. When Kevin when Kevin Hart came to the TD Garden in Boston a few years back, I gotta say, his what now tour. I couldn't stop laughing, bro. That one's cat. I couldn't stop laughing. That was hilarious. I can't lie. So this I disagree with, but let's continue. Already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? He's calling Maybe him. people don't understand the definitions of these words. He's calling him he just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett going to keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. Is he speaking fast? That's why. Do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood what? is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a it's I'll be honest. Did he sound like a hater throughout this entire interview or was he speaking facts? I want to know. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. And let me know if you if you feel like he was speaking facts during this interview. Or if he's just hating straight up. It's the consortium. They they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if. That factors in. I, I guarantee you, it won't. Wow. Why he? Why he standing over Shannon Sharp like that for? Why he doing that? Did he have to do that? Did he have to do that? Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. The devil is a liar. No. Nah. That's tough. That's tough. In front of your peoples too is crazy. In front of your peoples too is crazy. But nonetheless, just saying it, period, is what am I supposed to do? Crazy. He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there. It's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did. To <laughs> I told him, no, what y'all do? <laughs> 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 and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. 
Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They t that is true. You got to be honest there. You got to, you got to. You got to take it for what, is, what he's talking about, you know, and, and understand that that could possibly be true. That could possibly be true. Uh, they definitely be paying people to keep their mouths shut, to push agendas, to uh, all the all the stuff, you know, to to do plenty of this nonsense that we're seeing, push wars, all types of nonsense. We should not be warring. We should not be warring, but that's life, I guess. Tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and that. lost I, because Cat I, Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another no. story wow. where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. Is Cat Williams hating? Is he hating or not? Is he hating or is he telling the truth? I need to know. I need to know. What? You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have I you have ever been on? Truth. Have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, so no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. C Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like you can't get a young fan base with that. Like you gotta be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100-city tour. I'm not going to have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym. But you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no, there's too many comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Okay, let's get to your upbringing. We're gonna circle back and we'll get some. Uh -huh. I want to protect him real quick because you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019. But did you mean 1999? Because it came out in 2000. So I just want to make the no, Kings of Comedy. I didn't, no, no, no. So what I meant to say was remember, he said, mm -mm. I couldn't do stand up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I said he didn't have any of those TV shows at the time. I know you talking about, about Cedric. Joke still. Cedric. Yeah, Cedric. Oh, okay. So, okay. 2018, 2019, when mm -hmm. it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. Okay, no, 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 no. No. Uh, what comes out in 2000? The, the original Kings of Comedy. Right. My, I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're using this as the commercial in 1998. Okay. That's why I'm saying, yeah. So if I, yeah. So if I yeah. said the date's wrong, yeah. So yes. let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said, yeah. I had Cedric on here and I asked him about the joke stealing and yeah. he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point. I did hear about that. Cat Williams is saying that Cedric the Entertainer stole his jokes. I particularly don't know these jokes, so I really can't tell you if he did or not. To be honest with you. You say 
Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke. It's definitely dope how comedians do plan out their stuff, though, because it's like really writing a script honestly like it's like a movie you're telling a movie but you're doing it and speaking in person so it's kind of dope to to hear how he breaks down how he sets up for a joke that's dope because i thought it was good because i was getting a standing ovation on it he had me go back in the lab to help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke so this is not just a random joke this is my very best joke <laughs> and it's my last joke and it's my closing joke okay very best joke. 1998 <clears throat> i'm doing this joke it's on comic view cedric comes to the comedy store he watches me in the audience he comes backstage he tells me what a great job i did and how much he loves the joke Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into Did a spaceship. Did he really do that? Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass really for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you. Shannon. He really always standing up. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric. Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for, is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. That's what these comics understand, is that I'm not doing nothing for clout. I don't even recognize clout. But eventually the Lord is gonna let me and you be in one hallway. A lot of these dudes go. Kevin Hart done went 25 years without ever being in the same building with me. So what, if what, I go in the building, he walked. Did y'all speak? Did y'all that smile? I'm just, i just, I saw that smile for sure. He knew. He knew. I feel like this guy is like, he came on here and he had something to prove. He knew what to say, what to do. <laughs> He knew what was going to be talked about. He knew everything. He knew people was going to react to it a certain way. And he came and he performed and he did it. He did numbers. Okay. Yeah, you've you never know, seen us in attention. the same building ever in 25 years. Like, it's like that. <laughs> Why? Why? Yes, because what? I'm really the product. It's not what you think. I am never under the influence of anything. I'm always in my right mind. I'm always a physical specimen. And when you see me, I'm much, much bigger than you had thought. I have far less well, play in me than you would like. Even though and I'm short, relentless. I'm well, out there. I'm okay. still to this day, I play. This is just in the yard, just to the rack, just because. You work out care? I mean, no, you work out care? Uh, not to the gym. You don't work out in the gym? You push ups, sit ups? I, my whole life, it was, um, it was just push ups. And I'm not going to lie, man. I've been doing some push ups lately. <sighs> Your boy feeling strong, chest getting big, feeling good. Hope y'all doing y'all push ups too. And sit ups only, I would do like. Um, 
a hundred push-ups a day. Just I thought you were gonna say a thousand. No, no, no. <laughs> because this is literally every day. Right. This is not for the yeah, for the gram. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, literally a hundred <laughs> a day. And I would do push-ups and then I tore both my rotator cuffs. And so it was only thanks to golf good, that I was good. even able to get my you golf back. I've I've been a golfer for quite some time. My short game is impeccable. I I, I can't get you but but two and some change off of the um the tea. off the tee, but I'm still I'm 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 still coming in for par guaranteed. Golf is fun. Can't you lie. playing for the tips? Uh no. I've I've found that you don't get anything for that. <laughs> it seems like it seems very ego maniacal. <laughs> they go, hey cat, for free you can go further back. <laughs> Damn, what? Wait a minute, does it still count the same? Hey, I'm up at the ladies' tee. Don't tell me my pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> On the golf course, I'm she, her, him, them, and they. <laughs> Whoever. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> Whoever the front tee. <laughs> For a five-year period, every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just, can we take some of this step and fetch it shit out? And then I can do it. Like it don't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual. Right. It doesn't need that right. to be funny. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, and me saying that and them going, Oh yeah, no problem. And then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was and acting like I'm a bad person because I keep standing on my standards. He's got a point. He's never, ever, ever been in doing none of those type of movies. He's never, I mean, maybe one of them, but he's never been. He's never been. I don't know. Uh, we have to we have to fact check that one. We have to fact check that one. He's never dressing up as a woman for sure. But um <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's interesting, but I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like again, I'm I'm on the winning side of these <laughs> decisions. Will there ever be another comic view, Def Comedy Jam? Can, could, could that, in today, in 24, 25, 26, could we see that again? They've already announced it. It's already going. You didn't know? Mm -mm. Yeah, Kevin Hart purchased it, so he's now doing uh, Comic View. That happened at the same time that they gave DC Young Fly uh, Hollywood Squares. Where? Yeah, because they tell you that there's no gatekeepers, but we keep seeing you got to give Kevin Hart his props for doing that, though. Like, that's kind of big. I don't understand why why that's a problem. Like, I mean, he might have some type of beef with Kevin Hart, but, like, if Kevin Hart could do that, then Kevin Hart could do that. Respectfully. And the same people open the gate. You do that, then you can do that. Didn't Kevin open the gate and let Tiffany in? And he now opening it up for... Ain't Don't no such and such people. open the gate. But what do you mean? Ain't no gatekeepers. There's a hundred gates out here. Would you? I, have, I, everyone I've seen got a keeper. You got would you have wanted too. to do Comic View or Def Comedy Jam? Would you have wanted to be? I, I think we just mentioned I did them both. No, I'm saying purchase the rights and refranchise it. Nope. They didn't offer it to me anyway. <clears throat> they gotta offer it to you like comic view did a couple of disservices to comedy as well mm -hmm. so there were people like me that were out there getting two and three standing ovations in one set and that wasn't good for television so what they did was they started making everybody get a standing ovation so they would tell the audience when they get off stage everybody get up and cheer and so now the fact that i'm the only one out there going to get standing ovations is now making people think everybody get a standing ovation. Mm. And that's not how comedy is. So right. I, I understood why that couldn't go anymore. Because remember, Ricky Smiley sat right here and told you a story about how he performed with uh, Mike Epps and Cat Williams when he did Comic View. And to let him tell it, <clears throat> he was funnier than both. <laughs> <laughs> My name lived down. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, talking about the special needs. That's 
Ooh, that's good. That's a different that's time. Some clever material. That was a different time, Cat. No, it wasn't. It yeah. was the time I was there. But I'm saying that time, this time, same times. No, but I'm saying just like people that tell you the Egyptians, they not black. Egypt is in Africa, folks. I'm glad Shannon Sharp let him speak, though. He let him speak. He let him rock. He let him do his thing because, you know, some of this stuff clearly he's capping about some of this stuff. But who knows? Majority of stuff he might be telling the truth. The stand up comedy shows that I've gone to that were actually funny, I stood up and gave him a hand clap for sure. It hasn't been much, but. As long as Egypt is in Africa, like that. Um, then Egyptians are African. Do you believe you could tell the same jokes today as when you started out? Definitely. Not. I mean, Eddie Murphy not telling those jokes. Richard Pryor not being able, wouldn't be able to tell those jokes in 2024 that they told in the 70s and the 80s. So they wouldn't have told them. But that's my point. They're not inferior people. No. If they were in this time, they would be going according to our time. Just like then we were going according to that. Like that's how it is in the world. There are words that we can use for a while. And when we use them for a while until somebody says that ain't a good word, yeah. we should stop saying that. Correct. That don't make people feel good. And we stop saying the word and we move on to another word. You can't say the R word. You can certainly say special needs. Yeah. You can certainly say spectrum. That's true. You can, you can, you, there are things that you can I say to get your point that don't have to hurt people. Right. But you would know that if what you did was construct the English language for a living, mm -hmm. then you would understand that part. Kevin told you he wasn't going to wear no dress until they offered him the dress and then he put it on. And what did he say after he wore it? I made my own decision. Duh. That's true. But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? It's okay. It's all right. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs>